Mission work is an exciting adventure. We give thanks and praise to the Lord for the wonderful privilege of being ambassadors of the gospel here in the Philippines and to the uttermost parts of the earth. Great is the Lord and most worthy of praise. The city of our God the holy place, the joy of the whole The Palilio Islands are located east of the main island of Luzon here in the Philippines. I took most of these pictures you see in this report on our recent mission trip, November 17th to 21st, to our mission base located in Norte, Patnanugan, Palilio Islands. We've also included some pictures of the special Thanksgiving celebration here at our home since returning to Tarlock City. The Palilio Islands are very beautiful. There are many people living there who desperately need to hear the gospel with many open doors to share about Jesus among poor fishing villages scattered along the coastal areas of the islands. As you can see, there are beautiful tropical flowers. coconut and banana trees in abundance. There are beautiful white sandy beaches with warm, clear, colorful tropical ocean water. Fishermen in fishing boats line the beaches. The primary method of land transportation is by motorcycle and they really load them up. Our mission base located near Norte is on around six hectares of land that the Lord has provided to establish a beachhead among these islands as a bridge to the islands and nations known here in the Philippines as BTTI. We will especially focus on a Sunday afternoon mission hike across to the other side of the island to a poor fishing village there called Bustock. Round trip, it was approximately, give or take, a four-hour hike. Some of you may not have been on a mission hike like this before, so here we go. It's a beautiful day. I've got a camera with me to help capture some of the native scenes and help paint a picture for you of sights along the way to help you see what it's really like here. We leave our mission base going past our love boat and pass through a neighboring village. We're on our way. We pass rice drying in the road. Beautiful native roosters that are used for their fight to the death cockfights. And guys playing basketball at a primitive dirt court. We meet Filipinos along the way. We pass over a native wooden bridge which always reminds us of our prophetic call to go as a bridge to the islands. Which has taken us over many bridges through the years and we expect many more to come. Shortly, we leave the coastal road to go cross-country over some slippery, muddy paths up and downhill to reach a mud road on the other side of the mountain that takes us 
onward toward our destination. The beautiful coconut groves, the banana trees, the rice fields in Carabao are some of the sights we see. We passed several poke pokes, which are rice field tillers, along the way. We see nipa huts, bamboo, and tropical plants. Here comes a man driving his carabao along the path. We meet various groups of people who love to have their picture taken. Finally, arriving at Bustock, we make some hurried contacts and a number of people gather at the community hall where we have a special service together. We're excited with their spontaneous response and eagerness to gather as we had lost contact with them for quite some time. We were especially excited when one of the school teachers attending the meeting expressed his desire to be baptized in water. Hallelujah! We rejoice over every soul who believes in Jesus and wants to obey his command to be baptized. God is not willing that any perish. That was worth the whole trip. It was close to dark by the time we finished our service and headed back over the jungle trail to our mission base. Most of our trip back was traveled in the dark using a flashlight. Shortly I parted ways with my companions who needed to go in a different direction for another ministry commitment, so most of the hike back to our mission base was by myself. I must admit I kind of wandered off the jungle path more than once in the dark, but made it back safely, praise the Lord. The friendly jungle noises and of course the presence of the Lord with me made it an enjoyable, fun evening adventure with no need to fear because God was near. I got back to the mission base soaked with sweat. After drinking all of the one and a half liters of water I took with me and was still very thirsty. Well, this gives you a little taste of mission life as it is on the jungle trails for Jesus. We are currently close to halfway through a special building project at our mission base. It will be a multi-purpose building with kitchen, training, and fellowship facilities that has a beautiful view overlooking the beach. We launched it this year and have made some good progress. However, we needed to put it on hold for a while due to lack of finances, but we look forward to actively pursuing it again in the Lord's good timing. Our request for the government to redirect their proposed national road has been accepted. Praise the Lord! It would have cut out some of our prime property development potential. Now we have more options for beautiful landscape in a more secure and safe environment. We are very thankful for that. Praise God! Arriving back at Tarlock, Colleen was busily teaching cooking skills to neighbors and students in our kitchen in preparation for Thanksgiving celebration. Even though our natural family is not with us at this time, some of our Filipino BTTI family, friends and neighbors joined with us as we gathered for Thanksgiving. We had a great time together rejoicing in the Lord's abundant blessings. We had a wonderful meal and a very special time of fellowship as we sang songs and expressed Thanks and praise. Thank you, Lord. I just want to thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We are so blessed. Special thanks to all of you who are partnering with us. We thank God for our special friends, loving fellowship and so many good times we've had together. We are committed to continue to do what we can, while we can, raising up labors to help reach the harvest. To God be the glory.